hello guys welcome to see learning with new video in this video we will learn about ipv6 over ipv4 network so in our last video we learn about ipv4 over ipv6 network so our core network was ipv6 and our uh, this branch a and branch b was the ipv4 so uh, we uh, uh, transmit the data from ipv4 uh, network over the ipv6 network and then the ipv4 branch so in this video we just uh, revert the uh, so our uh, uh, core network is based on ipv4 so our this is the internet so this is the based on ipv4 core network and our branch is running ipv6 and our uh, second branch is branch b is also running ipv6 so if you want to communicate this branch over the internet so how you uh, map this ipv4 network uh, over IPv6 network over IPv4 to uh, run the uh, uh, internet and or to communicate with your other branch over the internet so how you communicate so uh, we uh, just make a tunnel as I told you in our last video over uh, IPv4 over IPv6 network so this is the same just revert the uh, uh, IPv6 uh, in place of IPv4 so uh, let's go toward the configuration so uh, we make uh, first of all uh, we configure core network with IPv4 addressing and then we will uh, configure branches with IPv6 and then the third step is uh, we uh, configure uh, this tunnel to communicate uh, this branch which is running IPv6 addressing over the internet which is running the IPv4 uh, to uh, the second branch which is running the IPv6 so uh, let's go toward the configuration so let's go quick so just go here in interface and uh, system view on this interface G001 interface G0 slash 0 slash 1 IP address is 192.168.68.10.1 and 24 so okay okay interface g001 and ip address is this and uh, we go here in second r2 and in system view interface interface giga 0 slash 0 slash 0 on this interface ip address is 192.168.10.2 uh, and 24 is the subnet and uh, we go here in g001 which is this interface of router 2 and uh, the ip address is 20.2 20.2 so you can see a 192.168 is in this side and 20.1 on this side so we go here in this router uh, system view interface g0 slash 0 slash 0 and the ip address sorry this is not interface g00 this is the g001 and the ip address is 192 168 and 20.1 uh, and 24 is the subnet marks now uh, we run a routing protocol with this is the uh, three router so communicate this three router we have to run any routing protocol so we go uh, toward the uh, ospf so just uh, we run ospf now you can see here if you want to ping 192 20.1 which is this interface you cannot ping from this side because you uh, didn't run any routing protocol yet so uh, we will uh, run a uh, OSPF or you can run a static or a RIP so I am running here OSPF OSPF area 0 and the network on this router is 192.168.10.0 and 0.0.0.255 so I am running here here as well I am running OSPF OSPF 1 area 0 and the network are 192.168.10.0 0 and 0 0 0 0 0 2 5 5 whole network and okay 20 dot zeros network as well on this router on this side so ospf1 area 0 and the network are network are 192 168 20 dot 0 and 0 0 0 0 2 5 5 so uh our writing is complete now from r1 I, we will ping this I, let's see either it's reachable or not so you can see here now ping 20 dot so it will be reachable 192 20 dot 1 from this side it will be reachable it's not reachable let's uh, troubleshoot display display current configuration so uh, on uh, g001 we have this 10.1 and our 
OSPF contain 10.1 entry so here display current so on this interface G000 which is this interface is at 10.2 and on this interface 192168 10. this and our routing protocol running 192168 10.1 and 20.1 area 0 on, on this side display this so you can see 192.168.10.0.0.0.255 okay and display current so you can see uh 192.168.20.1 .1 on this side and 24 so our routing is our interface are complete let's ping 20.1 so it's reachable now 20.2 it's also reachable so uh now uh, from our core network is reachable from here to here so i do not add this interface because this interface are ipv6 interface so we will uh configure it separately so this is not the part of uh, ip uh, v4 core network so this is the part of this interface is part of this branch and ipv6 network and this interface also so we are running a separate protocol over the internet over ipv4 core network so now we uh, configure this branches so let's go and configure so we have to enable ipv6 globally now we go in interface g000 on this router this is the g00 interface you can see here so ipv6 enable in interface uh, ipv6 address ipv6 address is 3001 double colon 1 and 2064 sorry not 24 it's 64 so uh, i have given this so we will go in router 3 on this interface g000 so we have to enable ipv6 interface g0 slash 0 slash 0 ipv6 enable ipv6 enable ipv6 address would be a uh, 3002 uh, and double colon uh, 1 and 2064 so let's ping this ping 3001 double colon 1 this is the gateway is reachable from here there it was reachable or not so I have already given this IP address here, IPv6 configuration. So IPv6 address, this is a PC address, 64 is a prefix, and this is the gateway here as well. So you can see here, I have also given here as well. So you can see here. So uh, from this side, let's uh, ping its gateway. So ping, ping this gateway. So gateway is reachable. Let's ping the this PC from here, this side. So let's ping ping this 3.2.1 which is the uh, this branch pc either it's reachable or not this would not be reachable because uh, uh, still we do not configure any uh, configuration related to mapping of ipv4 over ipv6 or ipv6 over ipv4 so now how to map so we create a virtual tunnel over the internet so this is the ipv4 core network we create a virtual tunnel obviously data will go from this network but the tunnel uh, we will create uh, would be between this router and uh, this router because this is the gateway router of this network and this is the gateway router of uh, this network so we create a tunnel between these two network and uh, our configuration we enable our ipv6 configuration over ipv4 network so let's go so how to create tunnel interface interface tunnel 0 slash 0 slash 0 1 or 0 or 1 either you can create any tunnel so i am creating 0 one and now uh, we are selecting a tunnel protocol tunnel protocol would be ipv6 because this is the ipv6 network and we are uh, taking this ipv6 uh, packets over the ipv4 so this is not ipv4 over ipv6 this is ipv6 over ipv4 so remember this thing so this is ipv6 over ipv4 so ipv6 over ipv4 and uh, display this display this you can see here now we select uh, the ip address so i have already tell you that uh, when you are uh, running ipv4 over ipv6 so these are the branches and this is the core network so we are tunnel we are making a tunnel over the core network so for what uh, for which network we are creating a tunnel we are creating a tunnel for ipv6 network so the, the tunnel network would be ipv6 network if uh, here you have the ipv4 network and this branch also ipv4 network so the tunnel ip would be ipv4 or uh, and the core network would be ipv6 but now in current situation the uh, uh, core network is ipv4 network and the branch are the 
ipv6 and the tunnel would be ipv6 network so uh, we create we give the ip address to tunnel is 3003 double colon uh, 0 and 1 on this side and the uh, 2 on this side and slash 64 would be its so let's go and ipv6 enable ipv6 enable on in uh, tunnel interface and ipv6 address would be 3003 double colon 1 and 64 on this side and our source so what is the source so source would be this uh, physical interface ip address so phys what is the physical interface because this is the core network so we are uh, uh, sending our data over the core network so we select the core network physical ip address so this is the physical uh, interface of core so we select the ip address of this interface so our select the our source so the source ip address is 192.168.10.1 you can see here 10.1 and our destination is this router so this is the end of core network so this would be our second destination physical ip so destination is 192.168.20.1 is our destination so you can see here our tunnel is up from this side on this side we will do the same configuration interface tunnel interface 0 slash 0 slash 0 ipv6 enable i think we do not enable ipv6 in globally so now we go here in tunnel so uh, ipv6 address is uh, 3002 3 double colon 2 on this side and here our source is and now we select the tunnel protocol tunnel protocol is uh, ipv6 over ipv4 so select this and our source would be uh, 192 160 and now the source is this side and dot 20 dot 1 and our destination is destination is 192 168 10.1 and you can see here if you display this so you can see here the configuration is ipv6 ip address tunnel source and destination so this is all about the destination so now let's ping branch a to branch b so we will ping this ip address so this species ip address is uh, 3 dot 3 double zero 2 double colon 2 so we ping from here so you can see here 3 double zero 2 double colon 2 so it will not be reachable because uh, we didn't uh, give any routing protocols so we use ipv6 routing protocol because we want to send our data from this side over the tunnel to this uh, branch so uh, the routes on this network are not available from this uh, branch if you display routing protocol display quit display ip routing table so you can see here there is no any network available of ipv6 network so you can see here no any display ipv6 if we display ipv6 routing table ipv6 routing table so you can see here ipv6 network is available this 3001 and 3003 which is the tunnel but there is no any 3002 which is a branch b ip address so how we uh, give uh, uh, set the routing protocol so just uh, uh, set the ipv6 static routing protocol so static routing protocol in ipv6 so uh, just go here just give the ipv6 static route ip route static ipv6 route static and uh, where you want to go so this is the destination if you want to go in 3002 double colon sorry double zero two double colon network with 64 prefix just go through uh, this tunnel interface so our destination would be gateway would be the tunnel interface so here we give the tunnel interface tunnel interface 0 slash 0 slash 1 so let's uh, if you display ipv6 routing table so you will find the 3002 network here present now you can see here 3002 is present here and previously there was no 3002 available so you can see here no 3002 now the branch b ip v6 address is available here you can see here 3002 uh, we do the same give the same routing ipv6 route static if you want to go on this network 3001 double colon 64 go through tunnel 
0 slash 0 slash 1 so uh display ipv6 the routing table so you can see here all the route present 3003 which is the tunnel routing uh, 3002 which is it's on and 3001 which is the branch a so now it the communication would be successful so you can see here the communication from uh, branch 1 to branch 2 is successful from our uh, ipv4 core network so this is all about uh, the ipv6 over ipv4 network uh, uh, transfer so i uh, hope you like the video please subscribe my channel so thank you very much